Peace and greetings, everyone. I want to show you uh, some cool stuff. So this is a uh, Starbeam 1.0. Pretty cool. Has uh, five radio slots, so you could do three NRFs and two CC1101s or five NRFs. Here we have a completed one. But I had to elevate uh, a lot of things. So as you can see, the screen has been upgraded. This is a four inch TFT screen. And uh, this is just strictly prototype. You do not have to do buttons like this. But these are Sanwa arcade buttons. Um, so normally these are used in um, joysticks and they're like the retro style um, joysticks they had back in the 80s. Put a comment down below if you know about these. And then I have a uh, mechanical button. These are for um, mechanical keyboards, like gamer keyboards. Um, so yeah, really awesome uh, response. Then I uh, super glued them in there. So, uh, some $1 uh, dollar store super glue. Oops, let me restart this. But yeah, I uh, did a uh, new UI. Um, so I pretty much converted, I converted all of the uh, Starbeam code uh, to uh, the screen, which was kind of uh, a little annoying because um, it's a completely different library. Um, but overall, came out uh, pretty nice. See, we got currently uh, three NRFs on here, um, but you could do three NRFs and one CC1101, or two, two NRFs and one CC110, or you could do three NRFs. And this is just um, for testing purposes. Uh, I don't have the ones with my capacitors on them. I know you guys are gonna make comments on it, uh, but this isn't for usage, it was just for uh, display. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure you have capacitors on there if you do. And then I added uh, these status lights. So this uh, turns the power on to uh, either the two NRF 24s or the one CC110 or vice versa. And yeah, just using a ESP32 room. Um, but yeah, if you want to add the three NRFs, um, there is code for that on my GitHub, uh, but the code for this um, is still exclusive. And if you want the um, Starbeam PCBs or the code, um, you can check the link in my bio. Um, and if you have issues setting it up, um, I am always available to help. Or you can check out the Hacker Hardware Academy um, where you can find this and a lot of other cool stuff um, there as well. Um, but this, I'm going to make a custom PCB and um, I don't know if I will add the buttons to the next one. That might be the collector's edition. Um, but yeah, just never. I've, I've had these buttons for a while, um, but have yet to use them for a microcontroller project. And I've been wanting to use um, mechanical buttons. You know, just why not? If if it's functional, you know, because then I could have. Um, I was thinking of then making like a little um, gaming device of sorts, like a clicker. Um, like a fidget clicker with um, some cool interactive stuff on the display. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show um, a new prototype and uh, see you guys later on the next updates.